So, um, a couple of people have asked me what my render settings are, and uh, the settings were recommended by Peta Edits. His link will be in the description. And uh, yeah, let me say thank you for that. Uh, here's a little thing that we're going to be rendering. Let me quickly show you. I did this to me about two hours a day while I was watching a movie, so yeah, it was just a bit of fun. Just kind of yeah. So that's a little something. So uh, to render in After Effects, I don't know. It's, it's only way because it's pretty obvious. But After Effects, you don't really need to have After Effects open for this. That's how good it is. Um, you want to have Adobe Media Encoder, which uh, for some reason I had it installed in my, on my computer when I installed After Effects. So it's probably part when you install After Effects. It's probably an option to install the a media encoder. I'm pretty sure. So uh, go and reinstall it and just find it. And uh, basically, what I do is uh, to to render a file, add After Effects composition, find the file you want to render. It was called copy the stain takes a bit of while to bring in the project to get all the compositions that uh, are in the project because I have uh, I think I had eight you know the eight pre comps and one main comp so you just click on the comp that you want to render out and then you go to uh, form uh, preset and click on it and uh, for most renderers you know what all this stuff is but uh, I'm going to use a preset because uh, I made a couple I'm going to use 1080p 30 FPS 29 points anyway uh, you know resolution frame rate and stuff I just missed something up but what you want to do is uh, down here go to CBR and change it to 20 and that's pretty much all that I changed and uh, yeah and you want to go to uh, output file find out where you want to save it let me uh, save it as tut you click save and obviously you can add more stuff up here and add like different projects and keep going and then uh, when you've, you've had everything that you want to add go to start queue as you can see there's a little preview and um, you can still use your computer it doesn't take that much uh, RAM while doing it and uh, yeah it's pretty pretty effective uh, while that's running to compress the file if you want to make it even smaller cause if for whatever reason the H.264 file isn't like small enough for your upload because obviously this is for people who have uh, bad upload speeds and can't upload a, f a gig file <laughs> in like two seconds and um, and uh, this is an 11 megabyte file I think it turns out to be so uh, what we want to do is get easy dot H264 pretty sure we can google it, I'm pretty sure that's what I did to get it and um, it's a very small program, it's like under a megabyte I think and uh, what you want to do is uh, click select and see the render's already done and then go to the file you want to render <coughs> and obviously you want to change that to mp4 because h.264 is mp4 files and uh, you go to where you saved it as I saved it as tight didn't I? And the file, the original file was eleven megabytes. Like say you had a two hundred megabyte file for whatever reason. Uh output file. You click save because it's probably gonna save it in the same place when you open the output. I just save it as output. And uh actually let me change that. Let me change that. <coughs> Let me change that to tut. Two, yeah. 
I imagine this is names. And then uh, the frame rate, you can change. And uh, you can change the uh, how good the resolution is. Uh, most of these are good. As, even though it says 720p, if your original video was 1080p, it will render it as 1080p. Then you click start and code. It says take time. It'll take time. Be patient, but I'm pretty sure it won't take that long to um, to do its thing. And um, it works well. Because this is a H.264 encoder, and we already read it, rendered it in H.264. They will there's pretty much won't be any errors when it comes to doing it. As you see, it's, it's done now, super quick. And um, let's quickly go ahead and find the file and see how big it was, how big it is. So it was tucked to the original was 11 megabytes, and the compressed is now 182 kilobytes. That's less than a megabyte, people. That's kind of ridiculous. And I'm gonna open it up and. Uh, See, quality is still pretty good. Let's uh, that's such a small file. Let's just go ahead and uh, open that up and see how quickly it was. Just like, why not? <laughs> Super light. It's only a five-second video, so uh, it shouldn't be like it won't be that massive anyway. But obviously, if you have a longer video. Like literally one second to upload, and um, for whatever reason, I can't uh, sign in to my other YouTube accounts. But uh, I probably, you probably don't need to know that. But um, yeah, it's pretty much the end of the tutorial. Tutorial. Uh, I don't know what to say. That's that's the uh, that's the video. That what 100 and you know 184 kilobytes, pretty good quality. Oh. Let's see if that comes out in 1080p. Yep, see so 1080p right now. This is a 186, 184 kilobyte file, people, right here, video file. Look at that, look at that quality. Pretty nice, eh? But uh, that's it. Go ahead, subscribe to whatever channel this is uploaded to because I can't sign in. I can only sign into this account for some reason, but uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I'll see you guys whenever. Whenever.